Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very tasty recipe, Gobi Manchurian. It's a very tasty starter recipe and very famous also. And hope you will like it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. You have to try this at home. It's really very tasty. Now I have taken some water to boil the cauliflower florets and I have taken one teaspoon of salt in this and we have to boil this cauliflower for at least uh, five minutes five minutes is enough and after that we need to strain this and keep aside in a bowl I'm taking three four cup of maida or all purpose flour and uh, three to four tablespoon of corn flour I have taken one teaspoon of salt or half a teaspoon of red chili powder and one fourth teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and a little bit of a pinch of food color this is optional if you don't want you can skip this and mix all these ingredients well You have to add a little bit of water to make it a fine paste. You have to make it a fine paste without any lumps. A thick batter, it should be thick batter so that it can be coated nicely to the cauliflower. If it is very thin, it won't be coated properly. So let it be thick. The batter has to be a little thick. So I am whisking, uh, whisking it uh, uh, so that no lumps are formed. So now it is little thick. Now it's done. I'm gonna put all my cauliflower, the make cauliflower in this. We need to marinate all those. Just let it sit for 15 minutes, that's enough, not more than that. If you want, you can uh, keep for 15, uh, half an hour if you have time. I have taken a pan and I have taken some oil to deep fry the cauliflower. Now we need to put all the florets in that and fry them nicely till they are crispy. Now see it's done. Now I'm taking out those and I am frying all the rest of the cauliflower also. Now that is done. Now in a pan for the tempering I am adding 3 tablespoons of oil and chopped ginger, garlic and spring onions. We need to fry this for 1 minute. And in this goes diced capsicum and onions. This is optional, but if you add this, it will really good gives a, it gives a very good taste for the Manchurian. The capsicum gives a very good taste. Just fry this for another two minutes. I'm adding a little bit of salt for frying this. Fry this for another two minutes. the onions and capsicum becomes a little soft now I'm adding one and a half teaspoon of soya sauce and two teaspoon of ketchup tomato ketchup and one and a half teaspoon of red chili sauce and we need to mix all these together you can add the sauces according to your taste if you want still more of the sweetness or, this or whatever it is, sourness, uh, you can add up to your taste. Now I have taken here 1 teaspoon of corn flour. I have mixed some water in that to make a thick paste. So I have uh, mixed everything and poured in that gravy. See I have mixed some water also. Now after that gravy becomes thick I need to put all the cauliflower in that and mix it now here 
the yummy gobi manchurian is getting ready this is almost done we need to just mix with the gravy all the curry flour and now it's done this so uh, toss it for 2 minutes that's enough and garnish with some, some spring onions now it's almost done now the gobi manchurian is ready to serve